Welcome to SprayWorks. I'm Jim Davidson, inventor of the SprayBot. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time and introduce you to the SprayBot Ultra. The SprayBot structure is supported by a lightweight aluminum but durable frame system. The aluminum is powder coated to give it long lasting life. The tires on the SprayBot are made of solid material. The structure of the SprayBot is uniquely designed to be user friendly. The spray head cart and rear drive wheel assembly come apart with a pull of a pin or spin of a wing nut. The control panel, generator, and windscreen unit come apart just as easily. Now I'm going to tell you some of the benefits of the SprayBot Ultra. Material thickness or millage of material is applied accurately to your project based on the preset controls of the SprayBot. Human error is removed and quite often reduces the cost of material. The chemical yield is important to your bottom line and the spray bot helps to increase the yield by upwards of 10% or more. It allows you to maximize the chemical and waste very little. Let's tell you a little bit about the spray head. First of all, the height of the spray can be adjusted up or down numerous inches to suit your project. That means this head can be down here or up here. Almost any spray gun in the industry will fit on this machine. The width of your spray will be about six to seven feet and that's continuous application in a nice straight line. To get to the inside for easy access we've made a clamshell design. That means there's an upper and lower hinge component that opens with just the removal of a couple of screws. So now we've got access to the top. Here you can see the linear motion devices of the rail system and the bearing system. They've all been installed by CNC. Every nut, bolt, and screw is exact every time. Maintenance is simple and broken down into a few easy steps. First tools. Tools for adjustment and access. All you need is a 9-16 inch wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, of course your oil, and your grease. Oil the linear slide rails located inside the spray head. Oil the chain located in the side of the spray head. This is not necessarily done every single day, but should be done on a regular basis depending on how much you do spray. Remove excess overspray from the spray gun mount and trigger actuator. 